What I'm going to do is a book review. Um, so I think you can see that this book is called Building Small Steam Locomotives. And what you may have seen in another video is that I'm doing some modifications. Uh, before I get into this, just a, a note on some of the uh, items that I pick up along the way. Uh, this is a magazine, narrow gauge and industrial railway modelling. I've never bought one new, uh, but picked it up at um, a show. I think it was narrow gauge north. Nothing at the show, or didn't appear as though there's anybody at the show selling anything for uh, G scale railways. It was almost entirely for SM32. However, uh, there is quite a bit of crossover between the 16mm modellers and the others. A second hand book that I picked up, uh, I paid all of £3 for this one from, oh, it might tell me who it's from there, because I've kept them. No, it's just the raffle. Western Locomotive Raffle, 2012, never mind. Uh, the Last Days of Industrial Steam. Okay, so what that's got is lots of pictures of uh, locomotives in it. Um, industrial Steam Locomotives. So a book full of pictures uh, and stories about them. So these are the full-size ones and alongside that one I did pay a bit more for this one it's uh, whatever price is 11.95 does it say who I got it from no it's just got um, some uh, this is I, what I was looking at here was diesel outline locomotives and so these are pictures of uh, the internet that I've printed out in colour but the book Industrial Railways in Colour uh, Northwest by Michael Poulter and I'm not sure that I got that much cheaper than 11 95 occasionally you see people selling them uh, because the Irwell Press this one when they've gone out of print and they actually charge you more but it does have pictures of steam outline locomotives there's uh, a couple uh, there's a saddle tank locomotive just caught it by uh, you know on there it's an 0601 and uh, there's something I'm playing with it would appear looking at this one as though there were quite a few which had that shape to them cabless uh, with wooden dumb buffers so I am looking at wooden dumb buffers and things for this one as a next modification right okay so uh, three quid second hand one of them 12 pounds for the other one and this one uh, and I'm not sure whether it was new or but it doesn't look second hand but even so this one was not cheap it's difficult to see on film but this is a, a brand new book when I say brand new uh, US 40 nearly 45 dollars 25 pounds in the UK for this one uh, building small steam locomotives a practical guide to making engines for the garden gauges by Peter Jones it doesn't matter what gauge it is because the principles are very similar now uh, the thing about uh, this is don't be worried about getting something that's too advanced. It's not a full-fledged model engineering book. It does start from very basic principles and it does have an example of taking a basic commercial locomotive and modifying it. All right, when I say it's fairly new, it was first published in 2008. Uh, and this is a, a 2011, so it has been uh, reprinted. But it covers an awful lot of the things that you need to uh, be aware of. Uh, and if it is too advanced, but covers some of the basics, there will be things in there 
which will help you just if you're modifying, as I am, an existing uh, locomotive. For example, one of the things here is just a very simple thing you would probably uh, manage on your own without any help, showing how to make up a timber buffer and dumb buffers or modify a timber buffer. Some of the more advanced machining things I don't think I'm going to be getting down to, certainly not making boilers, anything like that, but if it is beyond what you're doing, hopefully there are enough, there's enough guidance to help you with the basics of what you're doing. Uh, and so uh, that would be quite useful. It doesn't tell me the answer to the question I've posed on this one. If I just um, pull back a bit uh, about the uh, steam discharge tube into the chimney. Maybe if I read it in more detail, I'll get to it. So what I would say is £25 for what I'm doing, which is not building a garden uh, gauge locomotive from scratch, but just playing around and modding some live steam locomotives. Excellent value because it does tell you about all the components that make up your locomotive uh, so that you can understand what they're doing, why they're there, uh, how they work, uh, and that just helps you understand a little bit more about it. It does cover the machining, uh, which is in there as well, but it also covers some of the very uh, basic things. Uh, and in this one, it's re-gauging a locomotive, pulling it apart, uh, and just putting it back together and how you make up formers and other things if you're just changing a locomotive. And because it's a fairly modern book, look at the quality of the images. Puts me to shame, doesn't it, on my videos when I don't get that quality. But I'm just going to zoom in. See how clear that is. It's a modern book, not like uh, some of the older ones which have the information, have the detail, have the line diagrams and go through machining processes. It's got lovely, clear, well-produced images in the book and very readable, easy to follow. Uh, some would say too much time taken on it, but it has got in it the um, text explaining what's going on very nicely. Uh, and I find that uh, very enjoyable. So I'm recommending this highly. Uh, £25, Peter Jones's book on building small steam locomotives. Uh, just as an inspiration to me for what I'm doing. And various other things, various other books, just to give me inspiration for an outline. I am not going to attempt to build to a specific model because all I'm doing is converting something that was uh, foreign outline to UK outline. So a th few of the things that I'm saying are very specific to where I live, uh, if you know what I mean, in terms of wanting to modify uh, a locomotive uh, that already uh, came complete. Right, that's it. That's my recommendation. Uh, n not the th most thorough review, but um, it's a book for those who are wanting to do the same as me or go further in terms of getting into building their own locomotives. And if you are getting into the machining, the likelihood is that you will pick up some of the older, let me say, I won't say more advanced, but more technically detailed for the engineer. Uh, more engineering technic technology in there, which assumes quite a lot. I do have those because they assume that you are a model engineer to start with uh, in terms of the things that they are asking you to do. This one doesn't. It starts from basics. There are some things which you have to know about, such as machining, turning, etc., if you want to get into that or casting, it doesn't explain how to do those, but it really does give you the information you need.